What's going on, nation? I'm Scott from MuscularStrength.com, and today we're going to be going over proper form for a barbell biceps curl. But before we get started with the three golden rules, I do want to do a quick form check just so you guys understand what proper form looks like. Now, you can utilize this exercise to target the inner or outer heads a bit more. For example, if you want to place more emphasis on the inner head or the short head, you would do a really wide grip like this. If you wanted to place more emphasis on the outer head or long head of the biceps, you grab a closer grip like that, but what we're gonna do is try to hit both heads equally and use a nice neutral grip just like this so our arms are about shoulder width apart. Now, to perform this movement, all you're going to do is you're gonna bring your arms forward slightly like this. You're gonna make sure your arms are fully locked out. One of the easiest ways to know that you did a bicep curl full range of motion is at the bottom of the movement, you flex your triceps. Once triceps are flexed, you're gonna bring the weight up Curl all the way to the top, squeeze and flex those biceps as hard as you can, and then slowly control and return to the starting position, flexing those triceps, and repeat for reps. And now for the first golden rule when it comes to barbell bicep curling. What should you use, a straight bar or an easy curl bar? Well, let's start with the easy curl bar. There's actually two functions of your biceps. One of those functions is obviously to flex the arm, and the other function is to supinate the forearm. Now what happens when you use an easy curl bar? Well, the reason why it makes the curl easier is because it places a little less tension on your wrists, and when you grab the inside handles like that, you'll notice that instead of your hand being totally straight, it's turned in slightly. But what does that mean in terms of biceps activation? Well, technically you're still supinating your forearm like this, but you're not supinating it all the way out. So, Obviously, we're going to get some flexion in the biceps when we curl. There is a bit of supination happening at the top, but we're not able to maximize it. So if you have good flexibility and it doesn't bother you to use a straight bar, then that's what you want to do. Golden rule number one, when possible, use a straight bar to maximize both, both the flexion of the biceps as well as supinating your forearm as much out as you can. The second golden rule has to do with keeping tension on your biceps, and that means you never want to let your arms hang fully down like this during your repetitions. Gravity does play a factor when doing bicep curls if you want to keep tension on your biceps. However, what most people do to try to compensate for this is they do half reps. And then obviously, guys, if you're doing a half rep, you're not working your biceps through the entire range of motion, which can also create weakness over time. We don't want that. We want to build our biceps as big and as massive as possible and utilize every single repetition to do that. So what do you do? Well, the fix is actually easier than you think. When doing your curls, when you get to the bottom of the movement, instead of hanging down by your side like this, what you're going to do is keep your elbows slightly in front of your hips. This slight change in angle from being straight down to being about an inch or two in front of your hips is going to place a great deal of tension on your biceps, even when your arm is fully uh, extended at the bottom of the movement. And if you're able to maintain that as you do all your repetitions, you're going to be keeping constant tension on your biceps throughout all your reps and see much faster gains. And now the third golden rule when it comes to the Bobo bicep curl. But before I show you this, be sure to click that notification bell so you never miss a new video upload from me. All right, guys. So the third golden rule, do not be afraid to use a bit of momentum when you need to. Now, obviously, as a beginner, guys, you probably shouldn't be using any momentum. You should be utilizing weight that you can handle for all of your repetitions. So if you're doing eight repetitions, you should be able to go all the way up and all the way down with good form for all eight. But as you become a bit more advanced and you're able to push your body a bit harder, your mind-muscle connection is much stronger, you should be able to utilize a technique like momentum to squeeze out a few extra reps. So for example, let's say again you're trying to do eight repetitions. Now, you don't want to use momentum on all of your reps, maybe the last two to three max. So let's say you're doing your reps, and by the time you get to six, you're struggling and you barely get that sixth rep, when you get back to the bottom of the movement, just kind of sit back a little bit and use a little momentum to bring the weight up, reset your form, and then fight the negative on those last few reps. Remember, you always get the most muscle damage for regrowth during the negative portion of the movement. So if you're using a bit of momentum to skip the concentric portion or the way up, it's not going to be detrimental to your gains because you're still taking advantage of the most important part of the rep. Just make sure, though, if you do use momentum, it is imperative 
that when you do it, when you get to the top of the movement, don't just drop the weight. Get it to the top and then take a second to control, flex your core, and really focus on controlling the negative. So there you have it, guys. Those are my three golden rules for the barbell biceps curl. Now, I'm going to be redoing a lot of my how-to videos, so if you have a suggestion for an exercise that you want to see next, be sure to go down in that comment section below and let me know what it is. And for those of you who would like a full program to start making some massive gains, I will link to all my programs down in my pinned comment below. And as always, guys, more good stuff coming soon. Oh, I almost forgot. If you liked the video, smash that like button.